Wait, Joe, wait, Joe. Which one is more heartfelt? I've missed you guys so much. I've missed you guys very much. <laughs> like this welcome back to my channel like seriously guys i've missed you oh i've missed you guys so what did you have so much very much i wish you guys so i miss you guys so much honestly i feel like i've gotten so used to this youtubing thing that when i don't do it it feels like there's something missing in my week you know and i know this past couple of weeks have been crazy and you know emotionally draining for everybody actually on that note i want us to you know observe a minute silence for our fallen heroes those whose lives were lost uh, during the entire protest. And you could chip in a prayer or two while you're at it. Okay, may they rest in peace and we pray that uh, would one day attain the freedom for which they gave their lives. Um, so let me give you guys the official welcome. <coughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Arika's Arena. If you're new here, please like the video, subscribe, go down below, leave a comment with the hashtag new so we can welcome you the Arika way. And if you're not and you're a returning subscriber, y'all know I got much love for you. Ah, oh my god, I'm actually very excited. Okay, I'm always excited, anyways. Okay, so what are we doing today? We're doing our inspirational something, our inspiration, our celebrity countdown that includes a book of beauty. Then uh, I'm ranting as usual, they have vexed me again. Then, lastly, and the most exciting part for me actually, we're having a guest, one of my Oyimbo friends, not like Oyimbo skin color, Oyimbo, she's black, but you know, she's one of those people that shall travel and travel. But before we get to all of that, let's sharply run our comments of the week okay actually this is from our last happy episode you know minus the uh answers and black tuesday and all of that sad stuff so yeah let's get to it Ow! okay so for our comments of the week i actually picked four comments the first one is from adelo ajibola the inspiration here be lit and your rant it cannot be overemphasized thanks for the weekly vibe it's more than enough to get through the week oh thank you so much and this is the first person that's actually getting the spelling of the inspiration correctly anyways moving on the second one is from doris oswago arike Thanks for always giving us great content. Well done. Thank you so much. Your comments keep me going. Then the third is from Ara Someone Joy. Oh my God. <laughs> the inspiration got me for real. I refuse to settle for less. The rants last song. Madu, thanks for the quote. Oh, that was our guest from the previous episode. As always, a really inspiring episode. Thanks, Arike. Much love. Oh. <laughs> And finally, the last one is from Uche Nwoha. Your week inspiration, oh, your week inspiration has given me song to sing. Oh, it will help keep me in remembrance. I reach out to the world. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, seriously, thank you guys so much for this comment. You know, they just keep giving me the ginger to keep this going. Meanwhile, I don't understand why everybody was talking about the inspiration from last week's episode. I'm humbled. And on that note, let's get to our inspiration for today. <laughs> Okay, serious talk. <laughs> so for our inspiration today, uh, I'll be talking about confidence. I'm not even sure why I picked that topic. I just feel like it's something I need to talk about. Personally, I like to think that confidence comes from a place of uh, absolute belief in yourself, in your capacity, in your worth, you know, and well, invariably, that means that a lack of confidence comes from low self-esteem. You don't think you're beautiful enough, so you don't want to go to where people will see you. You don't think you're smart or intelligent or eloquent enough, so you'd rather not speak in the public and blah, blah, blah. But you know, it's sad because 
unfortunately, as humans, interaction is inevitable. You have to talk to people. Jige, like no man can be an island on his own. You want a job, you're going to have to go for an interview. You want a raise, you're going to have to talk to your boss. You want to start something new. You're going to have to pitch your idea to somebody. In fact, you like a girl safe. You still have to go and talk to the girl. You know, this right here eh, is the reason some guys have lost the love of their life. In front of them like this, another girl will come and chide the girl and sweep her off her feet. But because you were such a mumu, you did not walk up to the girl and go and tell her your intention. You be mumu. You think they are wise. You are a mumu man. <laughs> but okay, seriously though, I remember when I was in secondary school, I went to a Catholic school and they were all about etiquette and things like that. She must walk with your head held up high. What, what did I say, Jesus? This should be a tongue twister for my Yoruba people. Head held up high. Uh -huh. You must walk with your head held up high. And you know, and I never really got the idea then until, you know, I grew up a little more and I realized that you see this confidence thing, eh? It's like it paints an image of you on people's minds even before you train. You know, just because of the way you carry yourself, people just look at you and they'll be like, mm, that girl gas be spec, you know, the way she does her things and stuff like that. I remember when I was in Andre level, yeah, and um, I was a member of NFCS, which was, you know, one of the largest bodies in school. And during the awards night, I was awarded the fresher of the year. And of course, I was excited and all of that. Afterwards, a friend came. This is somebody I actually respect too. And he came to meet me and he was like, wait, you're a fresher. Okay. And I'm like... Um, I don't understand. Is that a question? I'm a fresher now, of course. And he was like, Oh, honestly, I thought you were a finalist. You know, the way you walk around here, like saying that you get the place. And I'm like, Wow, me wasted a loss on my way to lecture theater. But you know, that that's really how it works. That's what confidence does for you. And it goes like, it, it encompasses everything your poise, your composure, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you do everything, basically. And honestly, I feel like the lack of confidence of a lot of people actually comes from fear or no let me not say fear from uh, over consciousness of the world you're so concerned about what people think about you about what they would say about their opinion on your dressing or whatever it is but guy or when he, it is not your business like just live your life and do your thing why are you so concerned about what people think and like see go go lay don't say you could necessary my dear only go go lay now go don't say you could necessary could necessary my dear necessary like that oh need there are Oh, me, day. just do your thing. Because you see, whatever you do, people will still talk. So why do you not make it your destiny to be bothering about what people say or what they do or whatever it is? See, yeah, let me tell you guys one last story. So I remember during my sister's wedding, yeah, and I was to take the responsibility of some. If you know me very well, you know that of the many talents that Jesus gave me. Singing is not one of it. But I was told to sing the responsibility of some that day, my dear. <laughs> I went and I confidently sang rubbish. You know, at the end of the day, like if you watch the video, like without the audio, you'd actually think that I was singing gang gang gang, gang but it was nonsense. But you know what? I carry my face straight. I carry my head up high and I sing the nonsense. And when I finish, I come out the altar. I cannot come and stress myself because. And then lastly, you see, confidence is a very attractive something. It's a very attractive trait. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm sure the ladies can relate. There's just something about a confident guy. Huh. Oh my Jesus. Okay, okay, please, let's move on. Before I start saying things I'm not supposed to say. So you guys get the point. You know, don't let anybody beat down your confidence is an essential for life build your confidence whatever you have to do just stay confident thank you very much <clears throat> okay so moving on let's get our accounts down so today we're going to be talking about the obviously now we're going to be talking about the top five confident celebs you know the people that just the way they do their things you just know that mm -mm, this one can't be easily beat down by the world so coming number five is v she was one of the ex-housemates from this like last bbn i'm not a keen follower of bbn but i just found her very likable you know the way she responded to comments especially the like it's full ones she just you know and she says it every time that you know i'm fine with people not liking me you know i just it's my truth i live my life and blah 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 and i just feel like it takes a lot of confidence to come out of the house where you spent a couple of months and then come out to see all these eight comments and you're just she just you know moves on like nothing happened and i think that's really commendable coming number four is kobams asuko now honestly i feel like his own case is confidence and a lot of other things because 
like it's visually impaired and usually when people have physical impairments it just naturally comes with low self-esteem but in Cobham's case he has done exceedingly well even past person when no day physically impaired you know? I know you got me now I know you got me now followed you up and down followed you up and down <laughs> now I don't lost my own it's, it's really just a blessing to this generation and yeah that's why it's coming now our number four Okay, so we'll continue the rest of our countdown later. Before we meet our guests, I want to run. Ow! Hey, hey, you people, you know I've been talking since. I've been talking about confidence and uh, chemical. But you see, overconfidence in this life is a disease. You know all those people that walk into someone and be like, Hi, sorry, who are you? And they'll be like, do you know who I am? How can you be asking me who am me? And I'm like, Emma Bamike, it won't worry. Who are you? You answer the question. Which one is, how can, how can you be asking me who I am? And I like, I don't understand. And are you dangote? If we are dangote, girl, we'll still ask you who are you. I became one bubble because of small money that you have, you go enter party. So me, who are you, sir? And you wish was guest sense and be like, oh hi, my name is Kimiko, 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 Kimiko. And be like, oh, you're welcome, sir. You're like, mm, how can you be asking me who I am? Can we come? Do you do you know me? Do you know do you know? And I'm like, oh god, maybe you should calm down. Maybe you should calm down because if you're really worried. Like I was watching an event one day like that, and of course we're supposed to like confirm the guests before they came in, and then there was this guy. Ah, sorry, who are you? Maybe we check the list to say your name, didn't it? And the next thing was, how can you be asking me who I am? Do you know me? Do you know Kiliko? Oh god, I'm going calm down. I don't understand. Who, who you be? Who you last last now? Your popularity will not pass your streets. And you come here be hey, who are you? Who are you? I beg, I beg, I beg, everybody be coming down. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. I finished ranting, I finished ranting. Let's go and meet our guests. Oh my god, I'm actually very excited. <coughs> to be able to hold it down when the time comes. You have to be able to hold it down. Hi Steph, welcome to Arika's Arena. Hello everyone. Thank you very much for having me on your show. I'd like to say big shout outs to the Arika Arena family. You guys are amazing. Oh yeah, sharply introduce yourself. Tell us about you, what you're up to, blah, blah, blah. I'm Stephanie George. Uh, a graduate of the University of Plymouth with a BS in oil and gas management, also an alumni from Achimota High School in Ghana. Um, currently working as a VD executive at Greenwood Limited, we're an offshore EPCI company. During my spare time, I work as a communications expert and a set designer. I spend a lot of my time working and thinking of strategies and ideas on how to engage youth of my age group and also impact their lives in diverse ways. Now, how did I meet Arike? Arike, oh my days. Yeah, it was in 2018. We met at our NYSC orientation camp. I'd like to put it out there that I hated my NYSC experience. It was horrible. I'm sorry I'm being negative about it, but it's the honest truth. It was not a nice experience. Um, I'm not sure how Arike managed to have all the fun in this world, but she did. I personally went and sat at OBS <laughs> and hosted radio shows as well as hosted events on camp and yeah. Um, Arike was just so bubbly, she was so alive, she was involved in the cooking shows, she was involved in the cultural displays, in literally, she literally did everything. Um, we remain friends, she's an amazing person, extremely, extremely intelligent. And I'm super excited to say she's my friend. When I first met you at camp here, yeah, I honestly thought confidence was one of your most striking features. Have you always been like that or it was something you developed along the line or it had to do with your family or something of the sort? Oh, wow. Well, first of all, thank you very much for the compliment. Um, I wouldn't say that I haven't always been like this. I think that I've always had this ability. Would I call it an ability? But yeah, I've always been a confident person since I can remember. But then there are factors that, you know, come to play in my confidence levels. It's for me, first of all, it's important that you're not confident on the outside and then empty on the inside. So I'm trying my possible best to ensure that I'm developing my skills, I'm reading, gaining knowledge, you know, getting informed as much as possible. Because the whole idea of confidence is that you have strong faith in your abilities and in who you are so when the moment of reckoning comes and you have to like you know 
stand up and represent that which you um, you represent, then you should be able to. You should be able to own your confidence in that regard. All right. Okay. Would you say that your level of confidence has in some way influenced your achievement so far? Um, my confidence level has definitely affected and impacted my achievement so far. I feel like when people know that you are confident, yeah, they tend to believe in your abilities and they can trust you. So a lot of times, some of us need that um, that opportunity to prove ourselves. And that's where confidence really helps you because then a lot of times people are not certain if they can trust you to get the job done and so if you're able to confidently put yourself out there and say you know these are what my capabilities are right people just feel like you know what if she's confident about it then she can do it and so like i said earlier that's why it's important to know your stuff because then you have to be able to Hold it down when the time comes. You have to be able to hold it down. Okay, great. So has there been any downsides to being this confident? Like maybe people thinking that you're proud or something like that? Yes, Arika, there have definitely been downsides. Like you said, people misconstruing confidence for pride. Um, very much that happens quite often. Um, another thing is people tend to feel threatened but I feel like a way that I try to balance it out is using the magic words so it's I feel like it's important from saying please to sorry to thank you to excuse me those always make up for that aspect where people might feel like okay you are proud or you know your ego is large or your shoulders are high and all that stuff, but yeah. Okay, finally, I would like you to give a few words of advice for the people of Arikes Arena who are trying to up their confidence game. Um, so for those of us that, you know, want to continuously stay confident or want to gain confidence, and I say us because everyone's work in progress, inclusive of myself. I have moments where I feel timid and I'm not... I don't feel so confident and you know I have to brace myself but then I just say these three things um, first of all we need to seek knowledge continuously it's you know learning is a continuous process and then identifying our niche and developing it you know just being known for that one thing that you're good at and lastly be kind just we need more kind people, especially in our country. So just be kind. And yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Thank you so much, Steph, for honoring our invitation. It's been so nice having you. Hey, thank you so much for having me. I've had an amazing time on here. Hopefully, I'll be back again. Arika, please invite me again. Thank you very much. And hope you all enjoy the episode. Please do not forget to like, comment, and click on the subscribe button. Thank you guys. Cheers. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to our guests. So let's finish our countdown. Ow! So coming number three on our countdown is Fowls. Uh, now, I've always known Faust to be a confident person, like he's all over, you just know it. But, I mean, this past couple of weeks with the NSAS thing, he has been one of the most forward celebs about it, coming out to say his truth regardless of what anybody thinks. And I think his boldness and confidence is truly worthy of emulation. So yeah, he's coming number three. Coming number two is Tenny Makanaki. Oh my, you know, I, I just love her. I love how she rocks her body. I love the fact that, you know, she's plus sized, obviously, but I feel like she hasn't let that stop her in any way. And you know, it's, it's quite an inspiration for a lot of youths out there because Truth be told, we all get to that point where we feel like, ah, am I too fat? Am I too slim? Like, it won't make sense. I remember then during my service here when I felt like I was adding, ah, shall they look ah, or more? I don't they add though. But guess what? I'm even bigger now than I was then, but I'm enjoying every bit of being me, like all of this. So yeah, I think Tenny is quite the inspiration. But yeah, coming number one. Ah, the boss of confidence himself. Ebuka Obiu Chendu. Oh my God. 
I don't need to know anything else about him. I just love him for his confidence. I love him for the fact that you never catch him looking like, mm, let them not see me. He's always, you know, so bold, so ready to face the world in whatever costume, at whatever place, whether he's uh, hosting a show or he's modeling, whatever it is, he's always just so confident. And, you know, I totally love him for that. And is coming our number one. All right, so we've done everything we need to do. I really hope this episode is not too long. <laughs> But anyways, you guys should have missed me now. Uh-uh. I mean, don't you miss all of these? All of these. <laughs> anyways, guys, so um, I'm going to see you guys next week. You know, if you've not liked, subscribed. Uh-uh, you've watched this level. Why will you not like it? Why will you not subscribe? Eh? And drop a comment too. I'd like to know what you think about everything. What else? What else do we used to say? Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, oh, and share, 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 yes. Yes, please, share to your friends. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see you next week. Like I always say, stay safe. Life not JJ. No like a jam so you go fit day here next week. I don't want to be here alone. So please take care of yourself and I'm going to see you next week. Mwah. <laughs>